Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you how I did the base for Lady Olander. Here is the list of colors that I'm going to be using for the base. You will find it down also in the description below. Here is the base for Lady Olander. I want to give the finished model a unique base so I decided to create myself one for her. The graveyard pieces I used it from Wargaming Renetra, Gravestones and Raven Scenery Terran. From the pavement I used straight spruces. I found Mortain Warhammer 4 Grave miniature candles. I managed to buy them with the gravestones from eBay. I will leave the links down in the description. Bear in mind it is uncertain how long some of these items can be available. I used Armageddon dust for the soil parts. I used multiple sized rocks and sands randomly, but mainly around the grave. Skulls from Skulls for the Skull from. As for the stone tiles, I used green stuff and shaped them with a small rock just to give more of a rock texture. I think like this the base is as similar as possible to my other Nighthome miniature bases. I have to decided to weather a bit the gravestone just to give more aged look. I also added the thorns from Lady Olinder, however I only glued two of them. The third will be positioned in the center of the grave, where first I will need to fill it with sand and agrarian earth. And the hands are from leftover of Merman Banshees and Glaive Stalkers, which as you've seen it, I want to make them ghostly. as you can see like the third piece is just gonna be positioned over there I used Mechanicus standard gray as a base color on the base So the first color I'm going to use is Dryad Bark and I start base painting all the soil areas except the center part of the grave. Now I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade and give it a all wash on the base. Once the wash is completely dry, I'm going to use null oil and just give it a wash on the soil areas. Now I'm going to use Athonian Camo Shade and I try to use it quite randomly 
uh, I found the best way to use a small dry brush and just dab it in some random areas just to give a nice weathered effect on the stones. Now that all the washes are completely dry, I'm going back to use Mechanica Standard Grey. And I start dry brushing the pavement, the tiles, the gravestone, all the areas that are rock. Now I'm going to use Dawnstone and with the same technique I use a small dry brush and give a little bit more gentle brush on the surface. I also pay a little bit more attention on the left hand side edges in order to get a highlight where the light is hitting. And finishing it with Administratum Grey. First I use a small dry brush and follow the edges where it is more bright. Then I use a small layer brush and give a fine highlight on the left hand side to get the best blending. going to use Zandri dust and start base painting all the skulls and candles. Now I'm going to use Agrax Earthshade Wash and the first layer I just apply it on the whole surface of the candles and the skulls. Once it's dry then I am applying a second one but with a small layer brush and just in the lower parts of each candle I'm giving a wash. I'm going to use now Morgus Bone and with my trusty old brush I start dry brushing the skulls and the candles. And 
and following it with Screaming Skull. I start dry brushing the candles, mainly the top parts. After the dry brushing, just to make sure, I use a small layer brush and start edge highlighting each candle and also the skulls. Now I'm going to apply Seraphim Sepia Wash on the candles just to have a bit more of a blending and have the look of wax. I'm using Karak Stone and again with my trusty old little brush I start dry brushing all the sand and stone pieces. I also dry brush the soil with Gore 4 Brown. Now I'm going to use White Scar. And with a small layer brush, I start base painting all the flames of each candle. And also a tiny amount on the edges, just to have a nice highlight. Now I'm going to use Fugan Orange Wash and I start applying it on the top of each flame and also in the bottom area of the flame. I want to keep the centerpiece still white with this first wash. And I also start applying a little bit where I have on the left hand side three candles some of them are smaller so just behind them where the bigger candle is I apply a little bit that where the light is actually showing once the wash is completely dry I apply troll slayer orange and just paint the tip of each flames again to find an orange wash and this time I apply on the whole 
candle light and apply again just a little bit more to get a nice stronger light effect on some of the areas and I also apply it on the gravestone where I can see that where are the candle lights and just apply it to make it a bit of a glazing effect that is still gives a light now I'm going to use Collier Green Shade Wash and now I'm gonna do the opposite now I was giving some light I want to give now a darker shade to it so I start applying this wash in the right hand side of the base all the edges and also in the corners so to give a nice uh, shade to it and also I'm applying it on the edges of the base I want to make it a bit more darker and also a little bit putting it on the side where the candlelight still shows just to make the candles pop out a bit more and now that I'm happy with the results I decided to glue Lady Olinder into the centerpiece and I applied small sand just around the base and I also applied small sand on the top where the thorn will be glued as well now I'm going to use Celestra Grey and start base painting the center grave including the hands leaving out the sand Once the Celestra Grey is completely dry, I apply Nihilite Oxide on the surface. Now Agrilon Earth is quite bright color for me, so I decided to give pigment to it. I tried to go for the same color as Dried Bark. I achieved it by using Vallejo Pigment, Dark Slate Grey and Natural Umber. Once I was happy with the color, I am applying it to the grave. going to leave it for six hours to dry. I'm going to use now dried bark and start base painting the sand where the connection point is with Lady Hollander. And also the soil where the color is different in order to blend it together. Now I'm going to apply some Noon Oil Wash also onto the soil.
and finishing it with a dry brush of Gorthor Brown. I reapply some nylike oxide into the cracks just to get the nice glowing effect and also around the arms. So applying a one-to-one -one mix of Colia Green Shade with Lamium Medium, just around all these parts so that it blends together nicely. is using a bed on black and just paint the rim. As you can see I also painted the thorns and some of the roses. If you are interested about how to paint that, I highly recommend to watch my video of how to paint Lady Olinda. And there you have it. A unique base for Lady Olinder is complete. I hope you will find this video useful and can make yourself a graveyard themed base with this tutorial. If you enjoy watching my videos, subscribe to my channel, do give it a like which helps out the channel a lot by reaching out some other passionate painters and get notified by the bell button for the future video tutorials. Thanks for watching, happy painting, cheers!